Hey everyone, I'm Jessica Neistat and welcome to today's tutorial. I had the pleasure of teaming up with fellow creators Sam and Jess. They make fun lifestyle vlogs that take their viewers through their daily life. They've recently switched over to Premiere and together we're showing you some of the awesome new features that Premiere has to offer, whether you're also new to the software or a longtime user. Today we're talking auto reframe, let's dive in. To work faster and stand out, let's take a look at auto reframe. In this Sam and Jess video, Sam shows us how he uses the auto reframe effect to have Premiere Pro automatically crop a landscape video for TikTok, or really whatever aspect ratio you'd like to use. Let's start by opening the effects layout. You don't have to go here, but I figured why not show it to you. The effect uses AI with Adobe Sensei to track the motion in your clips in order to automatically crop to your sequence settings. Just for this example, I'm going to copy this timeline and change it into a vertical aspect ratio. I'll show you a better method for this in just a minute. So now you can see that the clips don't quite match the settings. And if you were doing this manually, you'd need to adjust these clips to fit in any number of different ways. In the effects panel, search for auto reframe. In the transform category of video effects, we can drag the effect onto whatever clip we like and it instantly snaps to reframe the shot. Drop this onto a few clips and we can play them to see how the default settings feel. And they're gonna stay on the leash because they're supposed to. Ball? You see the ball? Ready? You get it. Oh, there's the ball. Oh, she's thinking about it. Oh, hoo -hoo. not bad. There's a clip in here that has some quicker motion. So let's drop down the motion tracking and hit faster motion to get a better track of the ball getting thrown into the water. Ball? You see the ball? Ready? You get it. Now we can see the splash. Thinking about it, oh, hoo -hoo. with no hesitation either. You can also reveal the hidden keyframe data by checking the override button, or you can offset the entire track with these controls to translate, scale, and rotate the clip. Feel free to add your own keyframe adjustments as well. If you'd like a smoother movement, you can also set the track to slower motion. This will result in fewer keyframes, better for interviews, or more stable shots. But if you're planning on converting an entire video like this, you may find applying the effect to every single clip a little bit tedious. Luckily, there's a much faster way to do all of this. Select the original sequence in the project panel and head up to Sequence, Auto Reframe Sequence. You can give the new sequence we're about to create a name, a target aspect ratio, which is perfect for Instagram, TikTok, and so on, or a custom ratio. I'll go with faster motion for this more fast paced vlog since there's a lot of fun and action in it. You can also try different nesting options depending on the workflow you use to edit videos. Undo and try again with the other option if you aren't sure or if you run into issues. It only takes a few seconds and the new timeline is created and opened automatically. Something you'll notice that's super amazing is that if there are multiple people in the shot, the effect will prioritize the speaker. So the video will seamlessly pass the spotlight back and forth without the need for you to manually edit anything. This makes creating additional content for other platforms pretty much instant. No matter what aspect ratio you'd like to use, just like that, you can easily turn your YouTube video into a TikTok or an Instagram Reels clip with Premiere Pro's auto reframe effect, helping you work faster and stand out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.